fine. It's fine. Right. Yeah, it's just wait. It's like a little puzzle. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that me and Ruben actually went to London and for the first time in forever, I actually went to the Disney store. Yeah, got, got the fun? Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice, nice. Funny like that. Just thought of it just now, just thinking, how can I do my intro? I know. As I say, it so casually. So casually. Just like, like so, so what? Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So if you're new here then I do Disney themed videos. So the last one I did was actually my Primark haul. If you're not seeing that then please go check that out. And like I said today is a high street one. Now I know I keep doing high street ones. I'm sorry. It's just the fact that recently for once we've actually been traveling. So there's been a lot of stuff that I've actually been doing. So I uh, will go back to doing normal stuff at some point. So it's not going to be too many like buying hauls. But I was just so excited to show you guys because uh, like I said when we went to London we went to see Frozen the musical. So I did a whole vlog about it where we even kindly for our six year anniversary actually took me to see that front row it was amazing um, while we're there we actually went to a Disney store which is the only one apart from one other one in the country because all the other ones are closed down so I couldn't resist I had to go but also uh, earning the week as well um, I went shopping with my mum I went to some charity shops and things like that so yes I just want to show you guys what I bought so the first thing I'm going to show you is actually what I got from uh, the Disney store. Now, I had no intention of buying anything because uh, for me, unfortunately, Disney can be a little bit expensive in the store. <laughs> so I think most of the stuff, if not all of it, is actually reduced items. Now, some of the stuff that we did actually see, I put on my wish list on my birthday because there's some stuff in there that I was like, oh, okay, I wouldn't really mind having that. So obviously, again, I did vlog about it. Um, so I had no intention of actually buying. I just kind of wanted to go to Disney store to say that I was there um, because in my primal call that I did, I bought a lot of Disney stuff in Primark because I do find I get more my, most of my Disney stuff from Primark than I do from a Disney store. So the first thing I'm going to show you uh, is actually a present for Ruben and it was actually this one here. So obviously this is Oogie Boogie. So this was originally £25 reduced down to £5. Now I think it does say it's a stocking but I'm not sure because obviously you've obviously got like the hole there. You can't really fit too much in there so to be honest I'm actually going to use it more as decoration. On the back it just says Oogie Boogie on there, but I just thought that was really cute, like I don't have a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, I have actually said this in previous videos that I'm actually trying to get more Nightmare Before Christmas things, but I just thought for £5 I couldn't resist, no it's £25 which for me that's, again that's expensive for what it is, but for £5 I thought that was quite good. Um, I'm going to have to keep it away from the cats because the material is, it's kind of that material that they like to like claw on, so I'm going to have to keep it away from those, but the good thing is it does actually have a handle on it so we can hang it up. But yeah, no, so I just thought, because uh, Ruben actually bought me a few things which were actually in this uh, this haul, and I just thought that's quite a nice one to, to get him. So the next one, which I, I couldn't resist, like you're probably saying I don't need any more cushions, I don't need anything else for the house, um, but this was £28 reduced down to £8.40, and I just couldn't resist, it's so pretty. So this is a really nice stylized drawing of Ariel with all of her sisters. Now this is the first and only thing I really have apart from a few notebooks I've got from my Tokyo Kawi subscription this is probably the first thing I've got that's actually got her sisters on there and that's why I can resist I love the colors I thought it was so pretty uh, on the other side this is this really nice sort of pinky purpley like raspberry color but I just thought it was so pretty like when I saw this I was like I really want it like I said I got it um, for £8.40 which I thought wasn't too bad again originally £28 I thought that was way too expensive it's just one of those things I do find Disney the original prices can be expensive so obviously some people went to buy that kind of thing it's just about for me knowing that all this stuff more or less I buy with my own money unless it's a present I can't really afford those kind of prices hence why I go to Primark but yeah I just thought it was so pretty I love the style of it as well I love the colours um, so at the moment I don't really know where this is going to go so I don't know if I'm actually going to put this on the sofa or if I'm going to put it somewhere else because it seems so pretty I don't want to get lost because if you've seen my vlogs and uh, my sofa you'd know I've got quite a lot of throw and cushions I don't want it to get lost with all the other ones because it's really nice 
Right, so this I was actually debating about because I was like, okay, it's a necklace, but I might just put it in the shrine, so I'm not 100% sure yet. So this was £20, reduced down to £3.99, and it's actually, it does say an adult necklace on there, but it's actually a necklace of the key. So obviously, um, they do actually do um, a Disney Store keys with, like, obviously different themes. I've got a Lion King one, which is a duplicate, and I've actually got an authentic um, Beauty and the Beast one as well, which I got from my mother-in-law. Um... So this one being a necklace, it's not something I don't think I'm going to wear because it is a little bit too long for me. If it's a bit smaller, I might have. But I couldn't resist. Again, I like the packaging. It's like I'm a sucker for packaging. I like the fact it's obviously got all the, the character sort of um, things. So you've got obviously the lamp on there. Uh, you've got Moana's boat. You've got the apple. Uh, you've got a seashell. Um, yeah, you've got like Mulan's dragon. Like you've got things on there that represent all the different uh, princesses. And I just thought, okay, it wasn't too bad the fact that obviously it was reduced down to 13 99 I was thinking, okay, it's really nice to go in the shrine. Don't know where in the shrine it's going to go at the moment because obviously it doesn't really represent one princess. So unfortunately, I think at the moment it has to go in the princess bit, which is on the other side <laughs> of the room. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. But I'm like, I don't think I'm going to wear it as a necklace. But I do, and, you know, at the same time, I was like, I really want this. So, other stuff they had that was reduced, um, so I've got a few, um, oh no, it's come out, oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, it's fine, it's fine, right. yeah, it's just, wait, it's like a little puzzle, it's just where the earring, I think, where I picked it up, the earring kind of came out, <laughs> right, so I'm just going to hold it, so I saw this, like, literally, it was, like, in the very far corner, I just saw yellow, and when I see yellow, I always think Belle, like, for me, that's the princess I represent with being yellow, uh, so this was £18 reduced down to £8.99, uh, and it's actually, like, almost like a jewellery thing, but I don't know if it's anything else, um, I don't know if it's like no card. Oh, sorry. So it's bell earring set with two postcards. So yes, yeah, so it's actually got like the roses on there. So obviously you've got some of the, the bell um, earrings on there, and then you got the postcards on here. I really liked it as a set. Like I might use, say for example, I might actually wear some of these, but at the same time I might actually just <laughs> have it as a set and try and put it in the bell bit. But yes, yeah, so uh, I don't know if I said the price, but it's eighteen pounds reduced under eight ninety nine. Like I said, as soon as I saw yellow, I'd automatically sort of bell, and I thought, okay, this is really nice and the fact that I just saw the little sticker on it I was thinking okay it's reduced I really want it um so that was the first thing I got and then next to it they actually have a Pocahontas one which was bracelets so this one was 18 pounds reduced down to three pounds so I don't know why Pocahontas is like a lot cheaper I don't know why um so I'm gonna try if I can turn oh so I feel that it's like a whole range they have because the pattern on the outside is the same one as the key. Um, but this one again, I think is, yeah, Pocahontas bracelet set with two postcards. Um, but yes, like I said, no it's reduced down to three pounds. I thought, okay, that was quite a good, good price. Um, oh, and I forgot to say, uh, Ruben bought me this one, whereas I bought this one. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I think that's right, because Ruben actually bought me some of these, but uh, Ruben also got me uh, this, which is, uh, I think it's just a pin, um, so this was uh, £22, reduced down to £6.60, and it's a pin of Pocahontas, so yeah, so I think he bought me this one and the Bell one, whereas I bought the other print, um, the other Pocahontas bracelets and the uh, necklace key, just because he wanted to buy me some stuff. I was like, well, you know, I want to buy some stuff as well. I don't want him obviously spend all his money on me. Uh, so obviously, you know, he bought me a few things. But yeah, no, I just thought it was really pretty. Like, again, I don't have a lot of pro kinds of stuff. I've done a few videos, but I'm kind of like maxed out. Obviously, I can't do any more for you, unfortunately. <laughs> I do have a notebook of everything in it. So just in case I do get any more stuff, if there's enough for a video, I will obviously add it to it for you. Uh, I am trying to get more things, like um, in my... I think it's my eBay haul I did a while ago. I think I got two Pocahontas stuff in there, which I was just really lucky to get, because obviously eBay is hit or miss what you do get. Um, but yeah, no, so this one, uh, I was just like, why, why is it reduced? Like, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, 22 pounds originally, but I just thought it was such a nice, nice pin, and it's so big as well, so I was thinking, why would, <laughs> like, why would people not want this? Like, why is it reduced? So the other thing I got was this, which is my first Encanto thing, because obviously when you go to the checkout, they've got 
got different bags. Now, I love Encanto. Like, if you've been seeing my vlogs, I've actually been watching Encanto quite a lot. I've actually asked for some Encanto stuff for my birthday, so I'm kind of limited as to what I can buy, because I said I don't want to buy too much, because I don't know if Ruben's going to get it for me. But yeah, when I was actually at the checkout and I saw this, I'm thinking, okay, right, I have to get it. So this I'm going to put straight in the shrine, because I think it's just so pretty. I don't actually want to use it. I don't want to tarnish it or break it or anything. But yeah, so at the moment, this is my first Encanto item. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it, because it's one of those things at the moment, it's probably going to have to go on the princess side, but um, it's one of those things that I feel like the more, as, as time goes on, I will be getting more stuff, so I kind of feel like at the moment, it's going to have like, it's going to have to sit with the other princess stuff, but I think over time it would actually have its own shelf, but yeah, I just couldn't resist this. Uh, I don't really know how much the bags are, I think the bags are probably about three or four pounds, but at the same time I was like, right, for one, I need to put the stuff in something, and two, I just need this bag because it's so cute. So, uh, like I said, because the whole point of us going to London was to actually go see Frozen the Musical, so it was actually part of our six year uh, anniversary, so six years ago, uh, Ruben phoned me up on his lunch break and he actually asked me out. Um, so so we've been talking about going to Frozen for a while, for probably about two years now. Uh, we were supposed to go for my birthday a couple of years ago, obviously the pandemic had, that was like literally the start of the pandemic, so obviously we couldn't go. Uh, then we were trying to try and go for our wedding anniversary last year, again couldn't go. So Ruben actually booked me tickets, and then if you saw what I got for Christmas, you'd know that Ruben actually surprised me on Christmas Day with Frozen tickets. So I finally got to see it, it was amazing, I, I wish I could have recorded it for you guys, also I know you're not allowed because it was so good, we were front row, like literally the person was right there it was so good so um, while we were actually before we were went in waiting <laughs> there was this woman actually handing out frozen magazines um, so obviously she turned it out to all the kids and I was like yeah I kind of want one as well um, so this is like a standard magazine so obviously um, I don't know where you can get it from with like news agents and stuff but if you know me I love my stickers so what I saw it actually had stickers in it so that's like a little side thing and then the main things I got um, was this one here which is the official program um, so there's obviously has all the cast stuff in there as well um if you've seen Frozen the Musical, you might know that they obviously uh, to do Elsa Snow, it's all like uh, confetti and tissue paper. So carefully, <laughs> I'm trying to be very, very careful. I actually uh, got some. It was funny because I actually said to Ruben, like halfway through, I was like, oh, I really want some of this. Like, please, you know, help me get some at the end. Not realizing at the end, they do it in the audience. So it looked like we were just covered in it. I wish I'd recorded it if I'd known. And um, obviously, me and Ruben are covered in it. But yeah, so I've just kind of kept some of the, the little bits of um oh this is falling out now like the little bits of like confetti and stuff like that, that they use for the snow but yeah so that is one that Ruben got me which uh, like I said is oh god it's going everywhere now um which is uh the uh, brochure and then uh, this one here, Ruben also got me as well, which is this kind of like um, nice pictures of the characters and obviously like stills from the show and things. So it's quite nice to, to have. Now, um, so the woman that obviously played Elsa, she was in it, but the Anna character, we actually saw her understudy. She was really good, so I would say, would say I never say no to the understudy uh, characters. And obviously the um, uh, the child actors as well, it kind of changes. So I think they've got like three Annas and three Elsas, so it kind change as well but yeah no I just I really loved it like I said Ruben got me this so I'm actually going to start a little bit of the shrine for the musical side because I do actually have um, some stuff from the Beauty and the Beast musical I've got some stuff from the Lion King musical I've got not much but a little bit from the Aladdin musical so now I've got the Frozen one now hopefully you can see this, but one Ruben said, oh, would you like any souvenirs? So I looked around the little gift shop they had, and I ended up getting this one. So this was £10, so it's a little pin, so like a collector's pin of Frozen the Musical. Like I said, hopefully you can see it, because it is quite small. But yeah, they had other stuff as well, but again, it was really expensive. Like, they had some really nice jewellery and things like that. Again, I, I like to have stuff that I can wear, I like to have stuff I can actually appreciate. As much as obviously I love stuff on the shrine, I do like to have stuff to be like, you know, as I'm out and about. Um, a lot of it was for kids so obviously because you know it's Disney obviously most of it is for kids but some of it was just like oh that would be nice but it's like you know child size so obviously they can't fit in it or they had like mugs and throws and stuff and I was like well I've already got things like that and like I said it was quite expensive like this was £10 and I thought for the size of it it was quite expensive but at the same time I was like I really wanted something that actually had the musical on it and the fact that obviously it's the same design as this one that's one reason I wanted it because obviously then it represents a musical rather than the 
the, the film. Right, so that was it from London. So the next stuff I've got is stuff in here. So this is stuff that I got either from Poundland or charity shops. So a couple of weeks ago, we actually went round uh, Paul, because uh, Paul's our best place at the moment to go for charity shops, uh, and actually got some stuff. Uh, first thing I'm gonna quickly show you, but will maybe be in my next video or future video, is Mystery Mini. So now I actually have enough Mystery Minis to do for you guys. So if you didn't know, I actually have a Mystery Minis playlist. It's one of my favorite things to do. I've been holding off doing it because I wanted to get some more mystery minis to do like a big video for you guys so I do actually have um, more now to actually do it so it might be in my next video unless something else comes up because I don't want to do too many hauls but at the same time I do have a lot, uh, lot of things I want to show you guys um, so yeah, so unless there's something from the shrine that you want to see, so let me know if there's anything from the shrine that I've uh, either done a video from uh, in the past or you want to see an updated version, let me know that's something I can do for you. But yeah, at the moment I've just got my own list, but obviously I want to see what you guys want uh, want me to do as well. Right, so from Poundland I got this. I know it's a Christmas one and I might actually turn it into a cushion um, just because I've actually done this before. Uh, again, I've got a Disney Days playlist to show you how to turn um, like uh, bags and like clothes, like old jumpers and stuff into cushions or even ears so I've got that one so that's the first one I got and then the second one I got was actually this one here of Rapunzel and I know some people turn these into canvas art as well I don't really have enough wall space to do that so that's why I tend to like having cushions and kind of swapping them out but yes yeah, so that's the next one I got which was the uh, Rapunzel one uh, and then I got this mug here which is three pounds it doesn't say where it came from like what charity shop so apologies that I don't actually know um, some of these sometimes they do send them um, I do know normally I go to like the, the cats protection lead or RSPC so that's the ones that I tend to go to the most but yeah so this was three pounds it's not really a size mug that I would use so um, I have actually said this before that normally when I have mugs like this I tend to use it for storage like putting stuff in like over like my pens my pencils uh, even my makeup brushes uh, I do have one downstairs that's got all my lip glosses in there because obviously I have more lip glosses that I use more than say other lipsticks and stuff so stuff like this I do tend to use more as storage rather than as a mug because to me this is a bit too small like I like big mugs so this is more like class as a child size one but yeah the fact that I obviously got this three pounds I thought that wasn't too bad uh, hopefully you can see it but the next one I got was this necklace here uh, it hasn't got the tag on it but I do believe it was probably I think it was about three pounds it wasn't too bad um, so this necklace is a Tinkerbell one and a little heart um, to be honest I've seen stuff like this on Wish so I don't know if this is where it originally came from I don't know if this is an authentic one or, or if it's a dupe because obviously on Wish you don't tend to get the authentic stuff you do tend to get ones that are like uh, like copies of it so I don't I can't guarantee where this came from like it doesn't actually have anything on there to say Disney it doesn't actually say Disney so I have a feeling it might be a wish one and also the colouring on it as well is more of like a yellowy gold which isn't my personal favourite so I feel like something like this might put you know might put in the shrine but at the same time because it came from a charity shop I don't mind buying stuff from charity no I'm going to put it in the shrine so uh, the next one I actually walked past this again I'm so glad that Ruben comes with me when it goes shopping it's the fact that um this was so high up this probably why I didn't see it uh, but it's the same place I actually got the necklace from so I don't know if it's uh, no again it doesn't actually say on there on the tag um, but yeah so it was actually high up so I didn't see it but this actually originally came from Primark so it doesn't actually say the price uh, it was originally but I got this for £3.99 and it was actually this bag here now I don't ever remember seeing this in Primark so I don't know how long ago this was in Primark so I don't know whether this was like years ago or it was recent um, obviously it's not going to fit a lot of stuff in because <laughs> it is obviously more of like a children's one so maybe that's why I never really saw it because obviously I don't tend to go in the children's bit that often unless I'm looking for like jewellery but obviously it's not going to fit like my my, um, my phone or I think in there but yeah so it does open up but it's not like wide or anything so obviously you're going to put like a few things which to be honest when I go out with the girls I tend to have my phone like just in my hand or just on the desk uh, like on the table and then something like this I tend to have like my, my car keys in my lip gloss that kind of thing but yeah I just can't believe I missed this like Ruben was like did you not see the Disney bag and I was like no what Disney bag and he was like the one that's high up and I was like well obviously I didn't see it because it was too high up um, but yeah I just love the fact it's like really sparkly it's really glittery so um, I do actually have uh, I've got hair in my mouth <laughs> probably got a biscuit hair in my mouth um, so yes yeah, so um, I do actually have along my 
where my curtain rail is because we don't have curtains we have a blind so when the rail is I've actually got some of my bags there so I'm actually going to put that there but um, yeah it's one of those things that I can't believe I almost missed it and then last thing which was from Asda which my mum got me so I don't know if they do any other stuff in this range because she just saw this in her Asda um, but I don't know like I said back on the website don't they do any other ones but it's actually this bowl here again you're probably thinking do I need more bowls no I don't like again I might use this for storage like I've always got like sweets and treats and stuff to put in it like maybe like my hair bands or like my scrunchies just things I've always got something that I could actually use it for other than a cereal bowl um I think if I remember right this was £3.50 so I don't know if they've got any other things like mugs and things or plates with the characters on but I mainly wanted this one because you've got uh, Moana on here and you've also got Mulan which are kind of characters you don't tend to get with the other princesses so I do like the fact they are starting to do more with the princesses where it's not like the traditional six they're actually uh, trying to include more of them so yeah so that was it for my high street haul like I said there's a lot of stuff here which um, unfortunately you might not be to get from your stores because obviously so much charity you can obviously look on Facebook as well for some of these stuff and so I was linked down below <clears throat> So I always link down below the Facebook group, so just in case any of the stuff you can't get. Um, eBay is obviously another place to get these from. With the Disney stuff, um, I've not been on Disney Store website to know because I literally just bought this stuff not that long ago. And then obviously um, I've not had, uh, had time to look on the Disney Store website to know. Sorry. <coughs> Listen to my voice. Yeah, I think I swore it air wrong. You know, the one thing that you do to survive is to, to breathe air, and I did that wrong. Um, so yeah, so with the stuff in the sale, I don't know if that is certain stores. Obviously, there's only like a few stores left in the country, so I don't know if any of the stuff is on the website. Um, it's not going to be a running thing. I'm not going to be able to go to Disney Store that frequently because we had to go to London to go there. It was a bit of a track. I did vlog about it. But um, like I said, so hopefully my next video is going to be more of a good mystery mini one um, rather than too many hauls because I know I have been doing quite a lot back to back. It's just recently I've actually been going shopping. I've actually been venturing out. I've been actually leaving the house rather than going to work. Um, so yeah, so obviously uh, I'm going to try and do some stuff in the shrines. Like I said, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. And that's it. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days.